Hello and welcome to How to Convince Your Friends You're Good at Cooking, 3 Minute Skills. This week we'll be talking about your kitchen arsenal and all the bits and bobs you should have around your kitchen to make sure you can cook everything we'll discuss in this channel. I've separated this into two lists of things that are absolutely necessary and things that will be useful but you don't absolutely need. I'll be giving a brief explanation for all of my choices as well, so sit down and get comfortable and enjoy the list. Starting off with what's absolutely necessary, a tin opener for opening tins, a vegetable peeler for peeling vegetables, and a grater for grating things. We also have a wooden spoon and a rubber spatula, which are good for stirring different things. The spatula is a lot more flexible, whereas the wooden spoon is a lot more sturdy. You also want a masher for, well, mashing things. You need a colander for draining and washing ingredients. A chopping board. I would recommend having two different chopping boards, one for meat and one for vegetables. Casserole dishes. I would recommend having a variety of sizes, but a small one will probably do you if you're just cooking for yourself or maybe one other person. A good frying pan, preferably non-stick. A small and a large saucepan for making sauces, soups and simmering things. A baking tray to stick things in the oven. A mixing bowl for all your mixing needs. A measuring jug to measure out any liquids you have. Oven gloves to get things in and out of the oven safely. Tongs to pick up hot things and manoeuvre stuff around that you don't really want to touch with your hands. A fish slice, also commonly called a spatula, as well as knives, but I have an entire article detailing the different kind of knives which you can find in the description down below. Next up we have the things that aren't necessarily needed but are useful to have. And seeing as this is a student focused channel I'm going to start with a toasty maker. Now. Like I said, not a necessary addition to your kitchen, but it will make lunches and quick dinners a hell of a lot easier for you. I would also recommend you have a hand blender. This comes in incredibly useful for making sauces and most importantly soups, which are some of the most delicious, easy and cheap recipes that you can do. Next up I would recommend a bottle opener slash corkscrew, it depends what you're drinking to be honest. Then a garlic crusher. So a garlic crusher is good if you cannot be asked to dice the garlic yourself. It's a not necessary thing, but it will make your life a little bit easier if you're doing a lot of garlic in your recipes. Next up we have a sieve and kitchen scales. Now these are both things that some people would put on the necessary list, but honestly, as much as I own them, I don't find myself using them nearly as much. Although if you do a lot of baking, you'll probably get a lot more use out of them, so it does depend on what kind of stuff you tend to find yourself making. And last but not least, Tupperware or plastic tubs. Brilliant for storing leftovers and bringing in any lunches and stuff to wherever you're going to be eating your food. So thank you all very much for watching. As always, check out the description for the direct link to the article, which is just an exact list of everything I've talked about in this video if you fancy buying them.